This is Dr. Nancy from Honey with Milk. I teach negotiation and influence to help engineers and international professionals to get control of their life and their career. Now it is the holiday season. Were you wondering, are you supposed to give your coworkers and bosses some kind of holiday gift? Or you were in my shoes. I received amazing gifts from my boss. For example, that's what I got from my boss. A huge box of Godiva chocolate. I truly loved it. And I put this gift opening video right here. So now in my shoes, given I received such a great gift from my boss, am I supposed to give some gift back to him and how much money I should put in? So I did lots of research on this topic. I had to share you some ideas about what kind of gifts you give for your boss and in what scenarios. And I discovered 11 different things I'd share with you today. In my case, so my boss had a really great relationship with all of us. He gave each of his managers those like Godiva gift boxes. Uh, what we did was the five of us talked to each other and said, why don't we give our bosses some amazing gifts like this? It's pretty big gifts. It's definitely at least $50, between $50 and $100 I looked up. And so each of us just putting $20 together and combined is $100. So we gave our boss this $100 gift certificate so that he's able to use it to buy wine next door. So here's the thing, you need to understand what your coworkers, what your boss likes. We know that he's a foodie, he loves amazing wine, okay? He loves like go to Europe, do a wine tour. So therefore we would love to buy him some, like a nice certificate to buy any kind of wine he likes. So this is what we did in my specific scenario. And the other thing I wanna mention is that and it's totally up to you if you do not feel comfortable or nobody in your office give gifts to each other maybe um you can consider not doing that but in my scenarios we have great relationship with my managers and my employees and my peer managers my bosses and we feel okay to give each other something under ten dollars under twenty dollars so everything i'm sharing with you today is all under twenty dollars most of them under ten dollars and the other background information is that i am the only female manager out of a 100 people per management organization so most of my co-workers and the bosses they are all like men so most of the gifts examples i gave you are um, gender neutral and maybe more towards the male side of things but it's totally up to you you have more female co-workers you can tailor a little bit and at the end of the video i'm going to show you what i would buy for my female friends or what would i receive so stay until the end so let's get started the number one gift i recommend everyone to give is Chocolates! Dun, 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 surprise! I think chocolate is the best gift. Everybody will love a piece of chocolate. You can give them like small boxes, big boxes. I think they're all under $20 each box. Doesn't matter, men or women, we all love it. And in my case, I got so much chocolate myself. I would definitely give people chocolates as well as the best gift. I recently went to Japan and I brought the sake flavored Kit Kat for my coworkers. So I put it right here. I we already ate the Kit Kat. Um, the Kit Kat itself has alcohol in it. Tastes like sake. So don't really give the Kit Kat to kids. They might get drunk. You might get drunk over the Kit Kat as well. But I find it very, very interesting, very unique. And those Kit Kat are under. Five dollars, honestly, I bought in Japan. I bought multiple boxes. And third, not any random candy. Again, it has to be special candy. And for example, my coworker did something very smart. He's Spanish, so he got us those Spanish candy called Turang. It's my first time having Turang in my life. I put a picture right here. And he just gave those Turang, a long, beautiful Turang with a little note card with his name and his wife's name on it. And those Turang, I think, is less than five dollars let's say less than ten dollars but everybody in the office really love it it's just very simple and nice and small gestures we totally love it and number four 
Dun 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 dun! Lots of people have this idea already. Wine or a bottle of Prosecco. And those are all under $20, guys. You don't need to go on a whack. I wouldn't recommend anything over $20 as a gift for your co-workers or your boss. And for those kind of wine, you can get it any places and who doesn't want any wine for the holiday spirit. Number five is also something very trendy. SIM card! What's trendy right now, guys? Star Wars! Right now, everybody's watching Star Wars movies. And including my fiance, currently he's in the theater watching Star Wars with his best friends. <laughs> with me living here, what making YouTube videos. However, I'm going to watch Star Wars with my besties later this week as well. So, I'm covered. For your bosses, or co-workers, or your employees, I would just get them two tickets to a Star Wars uh, show. Do not put any dates on it. You can just buy the gift certificate from AMC that for the worth of two tickets and they can just go watch anytime for the Star Wars shows. It's totally trendy. Who wouldn't like Star Wars nowadays? And number six, it's also something very touching and it's something I recommend lots of people to do it more. It's a donation in the name of your co-workers or your boss. Think this way. Gift giving has been a long tradition, but there are lots of people in the world who doesn't have $10 or $20 buy gift for each other. And all your bosses, co-workers, honestly, they make enough money for themselves. Something I did this year is to write a nice letter to my boss and I tell them that I made a $30 or $20 donation in your name to a nonprofit. I have listed all my favorite nonprofit that I know about, have worked before. I believe this is one of the best Christmas gifts. We should all do this more. We have enough gift for ourselves, helping others. Number seven, tiles. When we talk about tiles, it's not the tiles on the floor, it's the tiles on the keychain. Have you had experience that you lost your keys or you cannot find your keys about to head out? So where's my keys? So the tiles is something, something very small. I put it right here that you can directly attach to your keys and you will never lose your key. And there is a little app on your phone. You can click it and the tile will make some beep, beep, beep sound and it can help you to find the key itself. I have personally received tiles before as a gift, but those tiles, when they attach to the keychains with all the tons of keys, I have lots of keys, and the tiles start to get broken or beaten up very quickly. So I would recommend give them a package of like uh, four or two. It's all under twenty dollars. I will put some links down below. You guys can look it through. And number eight is gift basket. I personally haven't bought any gift basket before, but I asked other friends who are managers and asked, well, what kind of cool gifts have you received? And they told me those kind of gift baskets, really good idea. So I will link some gift basket has been proven by other managers. So I believe you can use that as well. And number nine is coffee. Something very small, something very simple. You can just walk to your boss desk, buy a coffee for yourself, buy a coffee for him and even invite him to have a conversation with you for the, for the end of like a holiday season who doesn't like coffee but those conversations might generate something bigger it also helps you build relationship building relationship is not it's, it's way more than just giving gifts okay it's about the fundamental way to influence and trust and build relationship with each other so buy a coffee for your boss tomorrow Number 10 is tea. Hey guys, it's written on my face, okay? I'm Chinese, I love tea. And earlier in my career, I didn't know, do American like tea or should I even give them tea? What I discovered was that they really love tea. For example, my parents came to the US, they brought me lots of tea and those are the special tea I gave to my coworkers inside the little gift bags. And we have those kind of tea is like uh, from my hometown. That's so good. The tea is inside orange peel, dry orange peel. So tea has the flavor of orange. So I gave a bunch of those to my coworkers. They 
loved it. Lots of them were like, oh, I was buying tea on some on Amazon for the special tea from China. Bloody got this for me. Yeah, those small things, honestly, it's under $10. Something you can share all the time. So I recommend people to do it as well. And finally, is your sincere appreciation to your boss. If you do not feel comfortable, you can just write them a card or write an email saying that, hey, happy new year, happy holidays, wish you were a fantastic 2020. And bosses barely get enough appreciation for what they've done for you. And of course, never go overboard like kissing asses. That's a different story we can talk about next time. So just say thank you, show sincere appreciation with a little card or just email. And that's all you need to do. Here is the bonus. So I received really good gifts this year. This is from my girlfriends. Of course, don't buy this for your male bosses. Don't buy anybody it like a guy, I assume. And this is the, the Naked Urban Decay Palette. And this new version called Honey. I love Urban Decay. I have three of them, guys. And my girlfriend just really know me very well. And I bought this one myself. My friend gave me this one for holidays. Then my friend got me this one this year. And today I'm wearing this new Honey shadow. How do you guys like my new eyeshadow? This. Made of gold. And the eyeshadow looks like this. It's all different flavors of gold, oranges. I like it. Thank you so much, my bestie. Let you guys know if I look good in this new eyeshadow or not. The, the most important part about gift giving is to give something that people really like. You have to know that person very well. For example, like me, I don't like physical stuff. If people give me lots of stuff I don't like, I would rather to donate to other people. I always do the donations, guys. So for someone who give me anything, they must know me very well, know that, wow, Nancy must love this, gonna give it for her. No, so do some research a person you give gift to. This is very meaningful than just giving the gift itself. 11 things I discovered could be very useful for you. And this is my gift to you as well, sharing my knowledge. Happy holidays. This is Dr. Nancy from Honey With Milk. So let me know what kind of other gifts have you given to your bosses or coworkers, especially those like male bosses. And because I work with guys all the time, and let me know so we can sh share the gift ideas with each other, what works, what doesn't work. All right, wish you a happy 2020.